So when you take the template off, let's peel it straight off. You want to be saving these templates. Um, obviously this one is the top, so it's both half the left and the right side of the helmet. So this one not too uh, fussy with, but the rest of them, they only come on one side. Um, for instance, for instance, this only comes on one side. So you want to be saving them because when you do the right side, for instance, say this is the right side, you can flip it over, trace it on again, and it'll create the left side. So you don't want to be throwing these away once you've cut the first ones out. You want to be saving them all. So once you trace it, Remember to save your templates, and I'm not sure if you can see this very well, but there you go. Oops. There's my trace template there onto the phone. Let's see if you can see the ridges that I was telling you about. If you go in, you can kind of see the lines just around the edge of the glue. It kind of cuts into the foam a little bit to make it a lot easier to see. Okay, now, before you make any cuts, you want to take a look at your um, Pepecura Designer software. The reason for this is even because you might think, okay, yeah, we'll just cut it and stick it together. It's not quite as simple as that. So you see that? As you can see. For instance, this section right here. If you just trace that out onto foam and cut cut that out. Oops. That one right there. If you just trace that and cut that out you'd have flat edges. And when you come to stick them to the flat edges together, all you're gonna get is foam hitting foam. And when you really look at the actual piece, the piece is on the face plate there. So basically, you look at the angle that it's at, you don't want it hitting uh, side to side like so. You want it at an angle kind of like that. So basically you want to work all of your angles out before you make any cuts. Um, figure out what kind of angles need to be cut before cutting. So once you've done that, oops, you can begin to cut. Now because this is the head, top of the helmet, I'm just going to cut around it straight. Um, when it comes to the sides, if anything needs to be cut to go onto it, I can cut the angles in that one. Um, and if anything does need to be cut angled wise afterwards I cut, I'll come to it then. But like I said, I'm uh, just doing this as a tutorial, so I'll come back to it if need be. Okay, so there we go, knife's in the foam. So this knife cuts very, very easily in the foam. And you just want to trace all the way around the lines that you made earlier. Obviously in sections like this, because that's part of the Pepper Cura file that needs to be stuck together to make the uh, domed helmet you want to be cutting these definitely at an angle because you can't just stick these together because obviously th the foam is that thick um, so I can show you the foam is that thick the two aren't going to go gonna be able to together at an angle like that is going to the end, oops, sorry, it's going to end up with a gap. So you need to cut angles into the foam. 
see if I can just quickly show you. One on either one, one on either side. So that they can go together, sort of straight at an angle, so they can lock into place. So these definitely want to be cut at angles into the design. As I can go in, I'm just trying to think of questions that I'd ask if I was watching somebody do this. And any questions that I get that pop into my head, I'll try and sort, sort them out. If there's any questions that you guys have that I've not um, gone over, please um, comment below and I will get back to you if I know the answer as soon as possible and if not I'll try and find it for you. I'll try and find out. But yeah, when you're cutting this foam you don't really want to be using a cheap disposable knife. It's plain fact that they are sharp but they tug a lot um, and they make ridges and tugs in the foam which aren't good. This X-Acto knife gives a nice clean cut so when you do come to stick them together you have nice clean edges to stick together rather than messy edges that have been tugged at. Sorry if you can't really see that well, guys. I'm trying, just trying to cut this as I'm keeping an eye on the camera. As you can see, um, this is a lot faster than cutting the templates out in my opinion. And while you're doing it, remember if you do only have a small cutting mat to keep moving the mat so that you don't go through onto the table or work, the work surface where you're working at. Okay, so there you go. Now that it's cut, you can pop it out the rest of the foam because some bits might still be stuck a little bit. So we'll just need pulling out. like so. And there we go. Template cut out of film. Now like I said, the um, these ridges here need a cutting at angles, which I have done. You can see too well. There you go. Because they will be pushed together and glued at angles so that you get a roundish head. <laughs> you see parts like these, the angle I've cut at isn't perfectly, it's more straight so it's not round. So I'm going to try and cut that angle in now. I'm going to get as close to the edge, close to the corner as you possibly can. Position your blade at an angle and go on one continuous pulling motion towards you. Don't try and work it into the foam going backwards and forwards because it will make it quite a mess into the foam and it'll just 
work out not what you wanted. Now, when you come to parts like this, you'll realize why you need a nice sharp knife. <laughs> Okay, so that's more angled, hopefully not too angled. <laughs> so there we go. So now that the part's been cut out, um, we need to cut the rest of the parts out stick them all together. Like I say, I normally do cut them out, stick them as I go. Because this is the headpiece, I've made one of these helmets before. Didn't quite turn out how I wanted it. Um, and because it's a headpiece, you need to get that uh, circular domed head pretty right. Um, so what I'm going to do is build up the sides of the head first each side and then probably the back. I'll work from the sides, then the back of the he head, and then that can go on top and match the sides and the back so it's nice and even. So, um, that's probably it for now. I'll come back to you in a new tutorial um, pretty soon, hopefully. I'm gonna continue making the helmet um, obviously make the sides, the back, and we'll get this top stuck into position. Um, so hopefully this has been some, some help to you. And for now, from us guys at StarksWarehouse.com, um, thank you for watching. Please rate, subscribe, and comment below. Visit the website, and we'll see you guys soon.